Okay, our next session is entitled Benefits from an Animal Inclusive Approach to Disaster Recovery in the Agricultural Sector. And it will be presented by Dr. Monica Gupta, Veterinary Officer at the Uttar Pradesh Livestock Development Ministry. No, yes, yeah, development, excuse me. Um, it is a privilege to have Dr. Gupta present today. Her bio and her abstract are available to read from our website under the uh, subtitle speakers. Before we start, some basic housekeeping notes. The Zoom chat feature has been disabled, so if you have any questions, please use the questions and answers feature, and we will endeavor to answer them at the end. We encourage you to use the hashtag GADMConf for Twitter and other social media. Short evaluation will be made available when you exit this session. And just as a reminder, the video recording will not be available until it has been edited and it will be released as part of our GAD Mac Awards ceremony in July. So without further delay, it's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Gupta. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you so much, Gerardo. Good morning and good evening, everyone from the corner of uh, WORD and a big thanks to GADMC and WORD Animal Protection for giving me opportunity to participate in this prestigious conference. I'm starting my presentation by giving brief profile of India. Indian subcontinent has unique geoclimatic and socio-political conditions that makes it vulnerable to both the natural as well as man-made disasters. Around 6% of the population of India is impacted annually by exposures to disaster. Out of 38 states and union territories in the country, 28 of them are disaster prone. You can see the hazard vulnerability map. According to the hazard vulnerability map of India, Four crore hectare land masses vulnerable to floods and river erosion. 68% of net zone area is vulnerable to drought. 55% of total area is in seismic zone from third to fifth and vulnerable to earthquakes of moderate to high density. Sub Himalayan Western Ghat are vulnerable to landslides and changing climate also exacerbates the vulnerability. The occurrence of heat waves, cold waves, floods, droughts, intense cyclones and flash floods are getting increased due to climate change and global warming. Now we can uh, just have a look of history of disaster management in India. As, uh, after super cyclone 1999 shaken the disaster management system of India, and High Powered Committee was set up in August 99. Until 2001, the disaster management responsibility was with Agriculture Ministry. After that, it transferred to Ministry of Home Affairs in June 2002. Disaster Management Act passed in December 2005 and National Disaster Management Authority also established in 2005. This creates the paradigm shift in approach from disaster management to disaster risk reduction. A proper institutional framework is established. Financial mechanism or for disaster risk reduction developed and all the outlines are managed. The National Disaster Management Authority has been established at the center and the state and the state disaster management authority at the state and the district management authority at the district are formalized. In addition to this, the, nation, the National Crisis Management Committee, uh, part of the earlier setup was also functions at the center and this makes the stakeholder interact at different levels within the disaster management framework. So now the livestock poultry profile of India. India is a uh, mainly agri 
agrarian uh, country and has rich animal diversity and livestock plays very important role in Indian economy. Around 20.5 million people depend upon livestock for their livelihood and livestock contributed 16% of the income of small farm households as against an average of 14% for all rural households. Livestock provides livelihood to two third of rural community and more than two third management was done by women only. It also provides employment 8.8% of the population in India and the global ranking of various species, you can see that cattle is second and buffalo is first, sheep third, goat second, poultry seven. Uh, you can see that the livestock census, the latest livestock census of 2019 clearly indicates that the population is increasing day by day. Now, the India continues to be the largest producer of the milk in the world. Uh, it's more than 15% of the total milk, having 176.3 million tons and always uh, ranking first from the last so many years. And in ag production, it is ranking third. In India, 67% of small marginal farmers and the landless people own nearly 70% of livestock. Hence, the disaster management of these livestock becomes very important. The livestock sector contributes 4.11% of total GDP and 25.6% of uh, the agricultural GDP. The livestock sector contributes around 25% of the agriculture GDP. These reports are uh, taken from these resources. Now we can see the inclusion is important. Uh, why this is important for livelihood and agriculture security? First, foremost important thing, the public health security. The zoonotic diseases are one of the biggest threat to our population. It causes indirect and direct losses. Livestock are moving banks. In India especially, the livestock serves as an asset and in case of emergency, they serve as guarantee for availing loans from the local sources, such as money lenders in the villages. Employment, around 75% of people in India depend on agriculture, as I said earlier, for their livelihoods. But agriculture being seasonal in nature could provide employment for a maximum of 180 days in a year. The small and marginal farmers depend upon livestock for utilizing their labor during lean agriculture season. Livestock provides food security such as milk, meat, and eggs for human consumption. Per capita milk is 370 gram per day, whereas eggs is 74 per day. Production of wool, hair, hides, and pelts, and leather is also important export product. The bullocks are saving a lot of fuel, so the energy conservation is achieved by the necessary input by using them as mechanical power, like tractors, combined harvesters, etc. in our, by our small marginal farmers in their fields. Pack animals like camels, horses, donkeys are being extensively used to transport goods in different parts of the country. And especially in hilly terrain areas. Dung and other animal waste serve as a good farm yard manure and the value of it is worth several crore of rupees. In addition, it is also used as fuel, biogas, etc. and for construction of poor man's cement. Uh, the other use of livestock is weed, for weed control. Livestock are also used as biological sustainable control of bush, plants, and weeds. Livestock offers social security to the owners and also add to their self-esteem while owning pedigreed bull dogs and high yielding cows and buffaloes, etc. Despite ban on these animals, 
competition on the cock fights ram fights and bull fights like in jalakattu festival uh, this is quite common not not only dogs and cats like our companion animals livestock also provide the needed company to the solitary life thus making them lead a comfortable and happy life now in, now the question arises what is the impact of disaster on animals the impact of disaster people uh, in first instance the people want to save, save their own lives and of their family members during disasters but tend to neglect the safety of their animals hence the death of animals due to collapse of cattle sheds and during earthquake during earthquakes and landslides even if there are no casualties injuries are often caused that is the direct loss from dead sick and missing animals loss production of meat milk and other by products damage and loss of livestock infrastructure damage and loss of machinery and equipment loss of saving and investment loss of inputs like fodder feed drugs etc cultivated areas are also affected loss of products and by products due to interruption and uh, uh, for poor transportation reduction in the income of producer and other stakeholders in the valuable chain fewer opportunities for loans and loss of security in times of crisis higher prices during uh, for uh, when they try to restock and impact on human and animal health loss of food security impact on nutrition and it also raises the unemployment there are various type of uh, indicators uh, environmental and rural economic indicators which affect the quantity and quality of the affected livestock and its products there are various milestone achieved by india uh, uh there are national disaster management guidelines the management of biological disaster has one chapter and that is released uh, on livestock and that is released in july 2008 and uh, uh, the national policy and disaster management which is released in october 2009 is, uh, has uh, given importance to livestock as well as the wildlife the asia's first national conference on management of animals in disaster in april 2013 uh, in response to that there is the establishment of veru uh, six verus were uh, formed at that time and since 2013 there are few center of disaster management Uh, animal disaster management was also formed in various states training since 2013 the training of veterinary graduates state department officials and the ndrf are continues there are various workshops are uh, or organizing uh, at various level for uh, disaster management in animals and uh, in march 2016 the national disaster management plan of for livestock in india was released um, and in may 2016 the national disaster management plan also includes the livestock uh, as important asset and uh, uh, all the guidelines how to take care in accordance with lags was opined and the ndmp the revised ndmp which was released in november 2019 it includes livestock as separate chapter this itself uh, indicates that now we are uh, accepting that livestock is a very important sector and the very important asset for us during disaster considering the importance of uh, animal husbandry the ndmp 2019 uh, uh, opined that a mechanism for surveillance is set up involving the state disaster state district and village level veterinary institutes for animal inclusive drr 
during disaster state governments may avail assistance under feed and fodder development submission of national livestock mission to augment uh, feed and fodder supply department of uh, su su supports fodder cultivation and post harvest technologies under rkby program for mitigation of drought and assisted fodder development program has been launched for providing financial assistance for growing fodder railway authorities will be roped in for transportation of fodder from surplus to deficient area states should regulate industrial use of straws so that large quantities of straws uh, will be available for feeding of animals in accordance in the revised disaster management plan of ndmp there is focus on community awareness with regard to animal inclusive drr they have they have prepared various ict material one of this is this video which uh, i am going to share Like humans, animals and birds too suffer from extreme temperatures, but they can't express themselves and need our help. The signs of heat stress are panting, increased respiration rate, increased water intake, loss of appetite, lethargy, increased salivation, dry nose, weakness, muscle tremors, become unconscious. The only solution is to provide them with shelter and shade during the hottest parts of the day and plenty of clean water. You can add ORS or salt and sugar to water and protect them from dehydration. In case of emergency, take them to a veterinary doctor or call the animal helpline in your city immediately. I hope the video was clear and the sound was also clear. Uh, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, yeah. you're doing great. Okay. Uh, now we continue with the ndmp also ensures the use of insurance equitable approaches it helps in making disaster management plan at a state and local level now the i just want uh, as i mentioned the national livestock disaster management plan 2016 the purpose of this uh, plan is to delineate the actions and rules necessary to prepare for and respond to any disaster situation in coordinated manner and is also intended to provide guidance to all related agencies within general framework of potential emergency assignments before, during, and after the emergency situations. The objective of the plan is to define the actions and rules necessary to prepare for and respond to any disaster situation in a coordinated manner. Uh, several states have also prepared their state level animal disaster management plan, especially for livestock integrated approach and for various training modules like Bihar, Himachal Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and uh, Gujarat. According to this uh, livestock disaster management plan, um, the, this will facilitate the integration of data and expertise for multiple institutions, 
the preparedness and mitigation plan especially it has uh, for the disaster prone areas the proactive measures should be taken to identify adequate land suitable for, for, for the cultivation to meet the feed requirement of the animals based on the existing vulnerable animal populations. Efforts should be made to identify and cultivate region specific and animal species uh, related disaster resistant uh, fodder crops or alternate feed to meet the feed requirement of animals during extreme disaster conditions. Estimate the requirement of water fodder and animal feed for cattle camps and organize the same. Resource mapping is foremost important part. Uh, in preparedness and mitiga mitigation plan, there most of the states are doing capacity building for all main, main stakeholders through various training and exercises. And uh, during disaster response phase, the main responsibility is with the Department of Animal Husbandry of the states. It ensures the adequate availability of personal and mobile teams. It provides first aid and it also eradicate and control the treatment of animal diseases and injured animals. Treatment of abandoned or lost cattle, supply of medicine and fodder to affected areas, sale of milk and of disaster affected cattle owners or value addition of the same. Mobilizing community participation for carcass disposal situation assessment. Uh, for various norms are set from National Disaster Relief Fund and the State Disaster Relief Fund for relief and rehabilitation of the livestock. Uh, every state has its contingency or plan and insurance claims. Monitoring has very important role in effective disaster risk reduction and faster recovery from any disaster. There are uh, one or few, uh, two case study I am going to show you. Uh, there was a cyclone hood hood occur on 12th October uh, 2014. A severe cyclone hood hood was, has stood the north coastal district of Andhra Pradesh. Thousands of acres of paddy field, banana, coconut, cashew, and mango orchards were severely damaged. Over 2,50,000 people in 320 villages in four districts were displaced. Crops planted over 1,44,174 hectares have been damaged, and the expected production loss is, uh, was uh, 2,30,206 tons. Whereas in Odisha, the hood hood impacted 247,557 hectares of agriculture land, of which 40,484.5 hectares have sustained crop loss of over 50% in four districts. So we can easily see that the, although the human casualties were relatively low, However, there was massive, massive loss of livelihood in the affected area. About 1,12,850 houses were partially or fully damaged in the coastal areas of Vishakapatnam district alone. More than 7,52,540 households living on agriculture, horticulture, livestock, fisheries, and hand blooms were severely affected. Agriculture and horticulture crops were severely damaged on account of cyclonic uh, storm and floods due to heavy rains. A rapid damage need assessment team of the World Bank has estimated the total damages to the tune of about Rs. 13,263 crores to hood hood. So uh, we can see what are the lessons from cyclone hood hood in context of livestock. Under NCRMP project, it is found that the shelters for domestic animals arranged in urban areas. So there was, uh, uh, this was the good practice that due to availability of Paka infra infrastructure, some of the animals were saved. Whereas the domestic animals were neither rescued nor were any specialized team were deployed for this purpose. 
neither we had the tra trained team at that time. List of shelters and animals or cattle through resource inventory was also not available. No mapping of veterinary hospitals uh, for during the use uh, we, which we can use during this cyclone. So the lesson from cyclone uh, hood hood in context of livestock it can be seen that through appropriate risk reduction and mitigation measures, the number of lives lost has been reduced to less than 1% during cyclone, phylin and hooded also, uh, compared to what was witnessed during super cyclone of Odisha 1999. However, bringing resilience to infrastructure, agriculture, livestock and poultry is the need of the hour. So the suggested uh, recommendations uh, uh, which we learned from the cyclone hood was like that. Uh, the same was observed uh, in case of Assam flood 2016. The flood water swept away more than 2,800 2, villages and submerged more than 2 lakh uh, hectares of crops, display, displaced millions of people, and uh, but uh, the 30 human precious lives were killed and it submerged the 80% of our precious Kaziranga National Park. There, you can see that the rescue team saved 100 plus animals, uh, whereas 200 plus animals were died. Uh, I believe that this is insufficient data. There must be heavy loss of livestock and livelihood. According to UNISDR, the recovery means the restoration and improvement where appropriate of facilities, livelihoods, and living conditions of disaster affected communities, including efforts to reduce disaster risk factors. With this thought, we must include various integrated farming system in our disaster recovery system. Uh, I must promote that livestock-based integrated farming system as a response to reduce profitability of food crin farming and increased climatic variability. And that can be used for restocking and rehabilitation uh, during recovery period. Alternate income sources for farmers must be developed through convergence of the schemes of agriculture, horticulture, livestock and fisheries departments integrated farming system approach to mitigate risk in disaster prone areas as productive recycling of farm animal waste. Different subsystems work together in integrated farming system resulting in a greater total productivity than the sum of the individual production. Fish livestock along with livestock crop farming are the major concept in livestock based integrated farming system as well as the promotion of backyard poultry in the system while restocking is done during recovery and rehabilitation can prove be a good tool. Uh, adapting this integrated suitability in the flood inundated area of Assam, Srimati Dwara is creating natural hybrids with local SMEs, hill goat, beetle of the Punjab, Sirahi from Rajasthan, Jamnapari from Uttar Pradesh, she has been inspiring the local people to take up goat rearing practices and agriculture activities with the help of Assam Agriculture University and the Department of Animal Husbandry, Assam. She followed uh -huh. the rice, fish, duck and goat farming with the help of community for sustainable livelihood. Yeah. Uh, you have two minutes. Sorry? You have two minutes left. Okay, uh, I will finish it fast. So the feature approach, the key, the key strategy is uh, identifying the most appropriate livestock intervention during emergency, providing standards, key actions and guidance notes for these intervention based on good practices. The approach plays emphasis on three livelihood objectives to provide rapid assistance and rapid recovery to protect lively livestock assets and its products through more sustainable way to rebuild the livestock and agriculture assets of disaster affected communities. Uh, it improves the livestock priority through livestock, national livestock mission of our department. 
of animal husbandry. This was launched in 2014 and 15, seeks to ensure quantitative and qualitative improvement in livestock production system and capacity building of all stakeholders. The mission objective, sustainable growth and development of livestock uh, sector, including poultry, increasing availability of food, food, feed and fodder, and risk management and insurance. So we at the end just wants to summarize that in recent years, food security, livelihood security, and uh, water security, as well as natural resources, conservation and environment protection have emerged as major, major issues. India is, is still struggling to deal with these issues and also have to contend with the dual burden of climate change and globalization. It has been accepted that everyone across the globe, globe that sustainable development is the only way to promote rational utilization of resources and environmental protection without hampering economic growth. Uh, the, and I also uh, support the, that thought that it provides psychosocial support in case of severe depression of aftermath of disaster through companion animals as well as livestock. It also provides helps in rescue operation in difficult ter terrain, as we saw in case of Uttarakhand floods in 2013. So India vision for disaster, animal inclusive disaster risk reduction, make India disaster resilient, achieve sub substantial disaster risk reduction, and sig significantly decrease the loss of life, livelihoods, and assets. With these few words, I just want to thank my previous organization, National Disaster Management Authority, where the policies and plans are formed with animal inclusive disaster risk reduction approach for sustainable recovery. Propelling livestock production and utilization into mission mode would be one of the keys of our prime minister in achieving target of making India a five trillion economy by 2024. And I believe that all animals deserve a chance to live and survive and support the, our ecosystem. Thanks for patience listening. Thank you, doctor. Thank you very much. We have uh, one question. During disasters, is there an entity in India in charge of rescuing livestock? Uh, you can uh, ask, okay. Should I read okay. it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. During disaster, yes, definitely the Department of Animal Husbandry, people and a few NGOs are uh, working as well as the NDRF are also getting trained to rescue the livestock during any disaster. Thank you. Um, I believe if we, we have another um, question, do you employ volunteers? uh not exactly for as especially for uh, rescuing we don't uh, as government entity we don't uh, employ volunteer but apda uh, mitra is the scheme where in uh, any can volunteer anyone can register as volunteer uh, in the national disaster management authority portal excellent mm. I believe that is the end of this session, doctor. Uh, we okay. thank you very much for that, uh, for those, uh, th that great um, exposition. Um, let me see what else do I need to say. I think that the next, uh, the next uh, presentation is gonna be entitled All Hazards Preparedness for the Exotic Animal Industry in just two hours. Thank you very much, Dr. Gupta. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you. Have a good day and a good morning. <laughs> and good night to you. Thanks.